Hello, my name is Cash Choate. I'm the CEO and owner of Choate Engineering Performance here at Bolivar, Tennessee. Uh, we're a manufacturing facility to uh, a lot of different things we'll talk about in the industry. I didn't grow up in this industry. Uh, I started many, many years ago. My father had a plant store in Memphis, Tennessee. I stayed in that industry for for many years. And we were buying a lot of appliances from Lowe's and Home Depot and the haul offs and everything that they would have. So I knew I needed a decent truck to be able to, to haul the appliances. I found a, a Ford truck and after about 3,000 miles, the truck broke down on me. I called a friend of mine that worked at the Ford dealership and told me, this is what's probably going on with it and it's gonna cost you this much money. And I remember thinking, if I pay this guy $1,500 now, I'll be paying him $1,500 for the rest of my life or until I get rid of this truck. So I decided I'm just gonna fix it myself. And then once I got it all back together, a buddy of mine called me and he said, hey, I heard you, you fixed your, your truck. Uh, my dad's had another truck spin five different shops. Um, you think you could take a look at his? And I said, sure. I had just gotten the VF4SS and Adam, he came and got everything set up. I was just very intimidated with this thing. So I called and purchased some opto train. I remember Travis, uh, setting up, he got his laptop out. First time I've ever seen a 3D mouse in my, my life. And he quickly sketches up a, like a makeshift broadcast. When I saw him load the material and I saw what he did, just it was so simple. It wasn't, looking back now, I'm like, it was no big deal. But at that point in time, he was, he was, yeah, he was splitting items over there. It was just, yeah. <laughs> but I saw him load it up and he made a little rod cap on the, on the, on the CAD software and, you know, he quickly programmed just the profile. And he pushed start, does a tool change, comes down, cuts apart, and my jaw is like, I can't believe what you just did on that screen. This is what, what's in the machine. And I remember thinking when I saw Travis do that, one of the things was is the opportunity that I can do anything. I had just purchased my first lathe, the SC30Y. You really just hadn't done anything with it. And we were talking back and forth. We had a demo day set down. I was like, hey, come on down. You can set up the lathe, mess it up, do what you need to do. And I'll be working on the machine next to you and I'll guide you through. It needs to be set up anyways. It's a blank slate. It'd be great practice to come in there and try it. Come hang out. So that's what we did. He already had tools set up. And I remember him telling me, um, he said, yeah, I'll have you break the lathe down and set it back up. And I remember, I, this just shows you how green I was. I remember being completely clueless. He's like, I remember thinking, we were, we were at the lunch and he told me, yeah, I'll have you break it down and you set it back up. And I thought to myself, was he going to have me move this lathe or something? <laughs> you know, I respect him enough. I was like, if he thinks that's what I need to do, I'll do it, you know, but whatever. I will say this, right after I got back from uh, that, it was probably two days later, and I was probably sending them pictures of something that I'd made on the lathe. The best way to learn is to do it yourself with a little bit of guidance. We bought our first VF4SS, um, and it took about a year and a half to two years with the machine to uh, put it pay for itself. So the VF4SS was the best fit for CASA's application. It's a medium frame machine, but it's on the bigger size. It was a great starter machine for Pat. His next machine was the light. He had a lot of turning projects. He was able to grow his turning business, you know, because of, of that machine. His lathe is an SD30Y. That gave him, you know, a wide range, versatility, more capacity, because he was starting off with smaller parts, but he could go really big with the SD30Y. And then he got into the, the five axis work. Cast bought the UMC 1000, which really worked great for his valve covers. At the time, you know, he was working on this valve cover project and it has become, you know, one of his biggest selling items that, you know, that he machines himself. Uh, and, and it just went from there. Cast was constantly finding applications that we could put on existing machines. He has expanded even from there when he bought the VF3 SSYT, which was also a great fit for all of his applications. Travis, then Adam, all the Phillips Corporation teams that I've came in contact with have really became uh, very close friends to me. One of the fun things that I get to do is Ben always knows whatever project I'm working on because I'm sending him pictures all the time going, hey, what do you think about this? You know, and, and to hear him say, man, that looks really good. I'm proud of you. You're doing a great job on that. To me, that means more than anything. That's more than just 
her job. I mean, that's a passion that you have and you share it with your friends. And though it might sound a little sappy, that's the truth. That really and truly is uh, is what I enjoy going. I can't wait. I'm going to send this over to Ben and see what he thinks about it. You know, so that's fun. It's kind of like having, Ben's kind of like an older brother to me. I would, you know, he taught me so much through opto training and through, uh, just to be honest with you, being willing to pick up the phone when I really needed help. That, uh, that that makes it, uh, that, that, that that's what makes your job enjoyable, having that kind of passion for it, having people that, that are in that with you with the same passion.